Over the past few years, we have been lucky enough to witness the development of such a huge range of subjects and disciplines, finding out more and filling in the blanks as we steadily answer more and more questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries over a range of subject areas. Largest underwater eruption ever recorded gives birth to volcano. Seismic activity, for example earthquakes, often have devastating impacts. Their tragedy is huge, from leaving homes ruined to destroying properties. These events are a big deal, to say the least. One not so common outcome, however, is a seismic event creating a volcano, though this may have happened more times and to a greater extent than we think. Just off the eastern coast of Mayotte, an island in the overseas department of France, part of the Comoros archipelago, a new hill has seemingly formed, rising 820 meters off the seafloor. This seemingly out-of-place structure is actually proving to be quite valuable, providing scientists with plenty of insight into the hardly understood deep earth processes. Current explanations are acting under the assumption that this hill, volcano-like formation, is part of a tectonic structure between the East African and Madagascan rifts. The seismic activity began picking up on the 10th of May, three years ago in 2018. It was then on the 15th of May that same year that an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.8 hit, shifting the island nearby. Scientists quickly deduced that this was what was behind the new volcanic guest, the scale of which is much larger than that had been seen in the past. The underwater volcano was uncovered by a French governmental institution's research team who were sent to investigate following signs of disturbance 50 kilometers off the coast of Mayotte. Nathalie Fulet, from the University of Paris in France, is the lead geophysicist on the project. This volcano has been under observation since early 2019. The team used a multi-beam sonar to create a map of the sea floor spanning a staggering 8,600 square kilometer area. Between February and May of 2019, 17,000 seismic events were recorded, reaching up to 50 kilometers below the surface of the ocean floor. Some of this data did prompt some questions. For example, it is unusual for seismic events to happen as deep as 50 kilometers below the ocean floor, as earthquakes typically occur much closer to the surface. 84 of the data points were highlighted as being at unusually low frequencies. This data allowed the researchers to work backwards to try and figure out exactly what had happened. So far, it is believed that the tectonic movement damaged the lithosphere, the outer layer of the Earth. Then magma moved from a reservoir from which it was stored through the crust of the Earth. The process of this happening is what may have caused the huge earthquakes of 2018. While we may have some answers to this mystery now, this underwater volcano continues to be impressive due to its sheer size, having been an estimated thousand times larger than other volcanic undersea eruptions. While these answers are never quite definitive, it is certainly impressive and exciting to find some answers to an event like this. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter Satellite Photo Spots Perseverance on Mars NASA have sent many rovers to Mars throughout the years, gaining valuable insight into the Red Planet and leaving a number of nations captivated by these robot vehicles. Sojourner, Spirit and Opportunity, Curiosity, and most recently joining the team Perseverance. This little group has given us fantastic information that will aid scientific development, and Perseverance is no different. Perseverance, casually referred to as Percy by many at NASA, made it to Mars as recently as February 2021, but has wasted no time in exploring. Percy is roaming around the huge Jezero crater on Mars, which is a whopping 28 miles in width. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, otherwise known as MRO, has been looking at Mars since 2006. The insights from MRO have told us more about the atmosphere and terrain on Mars, looking for signs of water as well as helping bounce data back and forth during missions on Mars. Now, however, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has captured a photograph of Percy rolling through the South Satar, and our latest little rover looks no bigger than a pin drop on the huge area. 
South Setar is one region within the Jezero crater. It is an area on Mars filled with rocky ridges and plenty of sand dunes, hence the name South Setar, derived from a Navajo word which, roughly translated, means amidst the sand. As cute as it would be for Percy to simply have a wander, the mission does have a goal, and the Perseverance rover is actually scanning for an old boulder to take samples from. At the start of September, the little robot successfully took a core sample from a boulder named Rochette. This was not the first time Perseverance tried to collect a sample, however, with the first attempt taken on August 6, 2021, resulting in an empty extraction tube. The Perseverance project manager at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Jennifer Trosper, said, It went really well, other than that the rock behaved in a way that did not allow us to get any sample in the tube. Despite this setback, the rover lived up to his name and shortly found a new cooperative rock to sample. The team remained confident that the failed August extraction was not a fault of Perseverance's, but rather the texture of the rock being incompatible with his design. Nevertheless, it is hoped that a future unmanned mission will allow NASA researchers to collect the Rochette sample, allowing us to study it here on Earth. The aim of Percy's mission is to collect samples of various rocks cores from different areas in the Jezero crater. NASA's scientists believe that this will create a comprehensive view of Mars's geological history and what the climate has been like throughout the years. They hope this timeline could fill us in for millions or even billions of years into the past. Lots of research on Mars is fairly focused on its climate. This is in an attempt to help us determine if there could ever have been life on the red planet. A NASA statement also revealed that this could pave the way for human exploration on the red planet. All these little rovers work so hard, yet they do get their holiday. During the Mars Solar Conjunction, when Earth and Mars are on opposite sides of the Sun, research gets a little tricky to say the least. The rover's research is slowed down and they take a little rest. Luckily for us, this only comes around every two years. Hopefully, Perseverance has a successful time on Mars as the rovers that arrived before him. Neuralink co-founder says humanity is going to get wrecked. Concerns regarding AI are becoming more and more evident. As we have more Amazon Alexa units in our homes and self-driving car software, issues as to what will happen when a more advanced AI is eventually developed are being discussed more and more. The prior Neuralink co-founder Max Hodak has made his views clear. Hodak offered this ever so optimistic outlook. We are going to get so wrecked. His concerns focus on the decision-making processes in humans compared to those of artificial intelligence. We have developed systems and structures that work for our societies. Whether these are entirely effective or not isn't necessarily relevant. These structures create a compromise between various groups and settings, and while change could be for the better, could our slow-to-adapt human brains handle it? This was summed up in a tweet in which Hodak said, machines might end up reasoning about their identities and communities super differently. The slow change of existing systems can be seen throughout history, but if we suddenly are forced to become a great deal more flexible and willing than we currently are, then humans as a species may struggle to survive. Again, this argument was concisely written in another tweet, saying, it takes generations to upgrade cognitive technology in human societies. Rather concerningly, Neuralink's latest work seems to be looking at making the line between human and machine far less distinct. This is through the development of brain-computer interfaces. These later research projects, coupled with the string of ominous tweets from Hodak and his recent departure from the company, seems awfully coincidental, with some people considering these tweets warning signs. The cutting-edge technology and being on the verge of breakthrough is truly an exciting time to be witnessing. But what happens when one day someone inevitably pushes too far and the AI becomes too independent, too complex and too dissimilar from ourselves? But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.